Hello friends, I am Champion Mahipal. Today we are going to learn about overriding. So why we need overriding? Overriding is used in inheritance. When we inherit one class from another class, we need to change the functionalities of some functions which are explained or defined in the base class. For changing the functionality which are defined in the base class we need to override them okay so with the help of this example we are going to know how we can override functions here i have created one class abc which is a base class here i have used one protected member x of integer type and two member function get x and put as public get x for getting the value of x and put for just showing the value of x and here i have derived the class xyz from class abc as x is protected i can access it in my this class if i use it as a private then i can't access it in my derived class so i have made it protected so in the xyz i have used one more data member y and i have used here two member two member functions one is get and another is put get for getting the value of both x and y here a and b are saved in x y z which are passed from the main and another function is put which is similar to this as we have created the put function in our class abc which shows only value of x but here I need to show the value of both so I need to override it for overriding you just need to write the same prototype or the syntax which you have used in the base class just you need to change the definitions which you have written within the function so here I have used here I have showed the value of x as well as y in the function put okay so put gets override by the xyz which is also the member function of class abc so now let us look in the main i have created one object a of class xyz a dot get 5 and 10 5 is given to x and 10 is given to y and a dot put a dot put will show the value of both x and y if it is not overrided then it will not show the value of x it will not show the value of y okay so now let us look at its output here is the output it is showing the value of both x and y this proves that we have overrided it and it is very useful thing in inheritance Thank you very much.